Thousands of people have returned to their homes in Northern California after wildfires swept through the area, burning more than 800 acres of land and destroying 74 structures. Officials warn people should brace themselves for the fire season as excessive heat and dry weather feeds the wildfires. Hello there. We had a very wet start to the day on Saturday with low pressure in charge, extensive and pretty heavy outbreaks of rain. The afternoon got a bit better, sunny spells came through, but we also had quite widespread showers like this shower cloud working across the horizon in the Scottish borders. Now the wettest place in the whole of the UK was Rothamsted in Hertfordshire near Luton and uh, here we had 37 millimetres of rain that compares with the monthly average of 52 so in other words we had well nearly three quarters of a month's worth of rain in uh, just the space of 24 hours. Um, no weather in the little bunker but um, weather is all important as it's always and it? it's, 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 it's raining outside is it? <laughs> you might want to go in a bunker. Get, yeah. get, get away from this British summer that we're having. Oh so my God! That, that big black cloud says it all, really, doesn't it? Yeah, it was uh, very wet yesterday. In fact, some parts of the UK had almost three quarters of their monthly rainfall falling in just one day. And today we're going to see more showers moving their way through. Some of those could be heavy maybe even a bit thundery as well. There will be some sunny spells in between the showers. Here is the scattering of showers across England and Wales into this afternoon. As I said, some of those heavy and thundery. So at Silverstone, it could make quite an interesting race for the Grand Prix uh, because those showers will move their way through some sunshine in between and that could cause uh, some pretty interesting tyre changes. Start with morning to you again. <laughs> I think it would have been a good thing if they wanted something nice and summery because that's Ugh. what everybody's asking me at the moment. Where is summer gone? It's cooler it than gone? average at the moment. Did we ever have it? Hey, sorry? Did we ever have it? Well, we had it for a brief period, didn't we? At the end of but, June. About a week. That warmer weather. But that warmer weather has disappeared. It has turned much colder. Temperatures yesterday, about six or seven degrees Celsius below the average. Now, this morning, it's a lovely start to the day here in Greater London. Some sunshine. Sunshine also in uh, Suffolk this morning. But head further west, and that is where we have got some heavy showers at the moment. You we had some very heavy showers moving through. So for some parts, we had quite a lot of rainfall. And actually, if you look at the first six days of July in Benson, in Oxfordshire, so far we've had very nearly the whole month's worth of rain falling in just the first six days. So it gives you an indication of just how wet it has been. And there are further showers in the forecast today. But this morning, it's been a lovely start in uh, Cromer in Norfolk. That really confused me, that picture. Look at the reflection there. Uh, fantastic image in uh, Norfolk this morning with some sunshine. Yeah, happiness well, about the weather or those not? Those photographs are just getting more and darker and darker <laughs> yeah, throughout yeah. the morning. Uh, yeah, a little teaser for Silverstone. Oh dear. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, it's a, a pretty wet start today for some of us actually. We've had some very heavy showers and thunderstorms for parts of northern England. That's in Staffordshire actually, but around uh, the northwest, around Merseyside, it's also been very wet this morning. So, uh, yeah, lots of puddles, lots of surface water spray out there. That...